consider 9 to the power of 3 over 2. For the first time here with a fractional index, we have a number in the numerator which is not 1. To start considering this, look at a to the m, then raised to the power n. We know that this is a to the power of m times n. Since m times n is equal to n times m, this could equally well be a to the power n, then raised to the power m. Consider now that 9 to the power of 3 over 2 is the same as 9 to the power of 3 times 1 half. 3 times a half is 3 over 2. This is like this. We have 3 times a half as opposed to m times n. That means that this could be written as 9 cubed, then raised to the power 1 half, which is equivalent to this. Equally well, we could write 9 to the power 1 half, then raised to the power 3, which is equivalent to this. Very often, this form is the most useful since it keeps the numbers smaller and easier to deal with. If we consider 9 to the 3 over 2 equals 9 to the power 1 half, then cubed, 9 to the power a half is the square root of 9, which we then cube root 9 we know is 3, so we have 3 cubed, and 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So 9 to the power 3 over 2 is 27. Summarizing, we have a new index law, and indeed this is the final index law a to the power m over n can be written as the nth root of a then raised to the power m or as a to the power m then nth rooted. As stated, this tends to be the most useful since it keeps the numbers small.